Welcome to another Demarcation Media Dust It Off video. I'm recording this a couple days after the new trailers for Halo Infinite released. We got the campaign trailer, the multiplayer trailer, and the multiplayer overview. So the Halo Infinite hype is rolling really strong. And kind of to roll along with that, I'm going to be attempting to recreate this piece of art that was released for the Halo 20th anniversary, I think it was. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Uh, you can see, I, a lot of you probably have already seen this. It's a really, really awesome piece of art, but it's got kind of CE on one side and Halo Infinite on the other side. Now, what I want to do is I want to recreate this using Mega Constructs and only Mega Constructs as much as possible. Obviously, some of it's going to be a little bit difficult, like the muzzle flares. Although, I don't know, maybe I'll use Mega Constructs muzzle flares too. But this is going to be a very big project. Um, so this is going to actually be a two-part video. Part one will be this month's Dust It Off. And part two will be the next one. So to start, let's go ahead and just break down kind of this image and see all of the different elements of it. When you first look at this image, the first thing you see is Master Chief. Master Chiefs. Uh, we got him in his CE armor over there on the left, and then the infinite armor over there on the right. So right away, that's the biggest aspect of the whole picture. Obviously, we have to have Master Chief. As you saw in the previous clip, I do have a figure for each of those. We're gonna be using the uh, Comic-Con versions of the CE Chief and the Infinite Chief. Now, past Chief on each side, we have a couple enemies from each game. We have on the Infinite side, down at the bottom, is a Jackal. And we have gotten Jackal figures, but this guy looks to have silver armor and some sort of head covering. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to substitute a normal Banished Jackal. Then we have an Elite over to the right of the Jackal. He looks like he's pretty standard, just the blue Elite, and we've got plenty of those. Um, then we have the Brute Chieftain. That was a Halo Heroes figure, so obviously we're going to be able to put him in. And then up to the left of the Chieftain, we have a jump pack brute in red and mega hasn't done anything like that so i'm gonna have to figure out something different for that guy and then over there kind of beneath the jump pack brute is a promethean soldier just a very faint outline and mega definitely has done figures of those i've got a couple uh it's interesting though i didn't i don't think they've actually said anything about whether we're going to be seeing prometheans in infinite or not so that's very interesting now moving over to the left of the image we have a hunter taking up the majority of the space there and i have a hunter but there is a slight problem there we'll get to that in a little bit and then beneath him, we have a Promethean Crawler. Obviously those have been made into figures by Mega Constructs. I have a couple, that'll be easy. And then we have a Grunt, which is CE style. And I have plenty of those. Then we have a couple Flood Infection forms. Yeah, I've got a couple of those as well. And a problem on this side is the are those sentinels? Those Promethean things floating up top? I think that's what those are. I don't have any of those. So that'll be a little bit problematic. And then in the very center, we have the ring itself broken. Not sure how I'm gonna do that. That'll take some thought. And then we have a bit of a planet, looks like over behind the jump pack brute. And then in the foreground, we kind of have some rocks and then a couple explosions and then dead center, 
we have the celebrating 20 years little emblem there. So let's go ahead and start compiling the figures we're gonna need for this scene. We will start with the easy ones. So we have our infinite chief, we have our CE chief. Those are the biggies out of the way. And then we have our chieftain, easy. Then we have some, come on, focus here. Infection forms. I think there was only two on the picture. So we're just gonna put two in here for right now. So there we go. Now, I do have a hunter. Actually, I have two hunters, but there's a bit of a problem because neither of them are blue. Now, I could Photoshop one of these guys blue. I think it wouldn't be too hard. Probably the silver dude would be best. Um, however, if this video gets enough likes and views, I will go ahead and just straight up uh, buy a uh, blue hunter for the picture. So for now, this guy will be the stand-in for the hunter. And we'll, we'll see whether or not I get an actual blue one. So next, we will go ahead and grab, let's see, which kind of, I think it was just a normal one, normal crawler, camera, cooperate. So there we go, just normal crawler, and, oh, I thought I had a Promethean sniper and a silver Promethean soldier in this box, but... I do not, there's just the sniper's rifle and I don't know where those other two guys are. So for now, we'll drop in that soldier because he'll work just as good. Uh, actually, he might work better in the picture because the Promethean is so dark in the background. Uh, using the darker figure is probably a better choice. Obviously, we're gonna need our Jackal. And like I said, we don't have that headdress thing, whatever the jackal was wearing, at least not yet. And we don't have a silver jackal. So we're just gonna go with the red guy because he at least had some red highlights in the picture. Now, we have a bag of elites here. And we need, let's see, he was just a blue one, I think. And he had an energy sword. So let me grab a blue one. Actually, he does not need this. He just needs the sword. There we go. We will set him over here. Please stand up. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. So there's actually multiple shades of that blue now. Um, I thought I had three blue guys. My organization of figures is not that great. Okay, so now we need our jump pack brute. So hmm, this will be interesting. So here's our bag of brutes. Now, the helmet that the jump pack guy had was kind of like this one. So maybe we'll just use one of the silver guys. You know what? I wonder, it might be possible to Photoshop the brute red actually we're gonna use this dude because he's fully armored and he has the mangler is that that's the mangler right he's the mangler already so we're gonna steal hyperius jump pack 
Hello? Can you... Hmm? Doesn't... Oh, there we go. It just didn't want to go in there. Okay, so... This will be our jump pack brute. Not perfect, but close. Now, we only have one figure left to add. The grunt. Um, we'll go ahead and go with, uh, I guess a tan skinned one. So, pop him over there and that is our full lineup so the only things that are missing are uh the sentinels i think that's it which like i said i don't have um so either i will replace them for maybe a pelican in the background or something or or I may find someone who has some and see if they can get me some pictures of them. Either way, there will be something there. And like I said before, obviously our jump pack brute is not totally accurate. Our jackal is not totally accurate. And currently our hunter is not totally accurate. Like I said, the hunter, I can maybe Photoshop in blue. Or like I said, if this video gets enough likes and views, I will just go and buy a blue one. For the picture the jump pack brute he might be able to be photoshopped I'm not sure yet so the second part of the video will be showing kind of the a little bit of the process of taking the photos um, the taking part won't be as interesting as the last time I did a, a video about my photography because essentially what I'm gonna have to do for this picture is a composite. So I'm gonna be basically just taking pictures of all of these figures on this blank white background and fiddling with some lights to make sure that the light looks okay. That's not gonna be very interesting to watch. The editing process is what's going to be interesting to watch. So as I'm editing it, I will record it and then kind of talk about what I'm doing as the video goes. So that will be in part two. For now, there's our lineup. And real quick, let me just put the image that we'll be recreating back up on the screen. Such an awesome piece of art. It's actually my laptop's desktop background right now. Has been for like three, four weeks now. It's just so cool. I, I can't wait to see if I can actually do it justice in this recreation. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.